Hey everyone, my name's Dan. Welcome to Danalog. I have a problem, and that problem is eBay. I spend way too much time and money on eBay. In front of me are about 26 packages, 28 packages that I've bought over the last month. I've just been stockpiling them so I can make this video for you. I haven't opened them, um, but over $1,000 on all these for sure. There's a lot of games I've been wanting, some good deals I just see that I jump on, a lot of bidding wars that I probably shouldn't have continued in. So let's get these opened up. I'm gonna start with the little packages and move on to the bigger things. Now, I don't know what's in each package. I know what I ordered, but I don't know which package is which game. So let's get started. All right, so the first one here, I have my little table I bought just to make this video. Uh, so the first one, I actually know what it is. I was so excited about this one. I ran out to the mailbox and got it as soon as I got the confirmation that it was delivered and I wrote a little R on it. Um, so I know what this one is. I'm really excited to open it. Okay, decently packaged. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Here it is, Super Mario RPG. Uh, been really wanting to play this game. Been really wanting to add it to the Mario collection. It's usually a $100 game. This one is almost perfect. The label isn't amazing, but it's really pretty damn good. And uh, I think it was $70. Uh, I won a, a pretty cheap bid. It's a little bit of schmutz on the back there. Super excited to have this in the collection. Super excited to pop it in and play it soon. This one feels like a Switch game. Don't know which Switch game it is, but we'll find out here. So this one is Stardew Valley. It is the uh, European case. I usually try not to go for that, but uh, it was sealed. Uh, it was a pretty good deal. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It is supposed to be a great game. I've heard so many really good things about this. I've heard if you like Animal Crossing, you'll definitely like this. So super excited to play that. So this next one also feels like a Switch game, and it is. Nice, Super Lucky's Tale. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. 3D platformer, uh, independent studio, playful. Uh, I've heard really good things about it. I saw it for 30 bucks. I know it's uh, out of print, I think. So I, I saw it on Amazon. It was going for like 70 for a new game on the Switch. Not cool. So I saw it for about $30 plus a little bit of shipping on eBay and I just couldn't help myself put the bid in and I actually won. This, I, I have no, no idea what this is. Very strange packaging. Okay, we've got an NES game here. Oh, sweet. Cool. A Boy and His Blob. I remember playing this game a lot when I was like a really little kid. Uh, and then I played it when I had my collection back in the day. And I really enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite games on the Switch. I looked at my collection and I realized I didn't have it. So I uh, just put in a search on eBay and uh, put in a bid on one that was ending in a couple days. And I ended up winning. So a uh, really cool game. I might do a little review on this. Uh, in my top 10 NES games, which is coming up. Okay, next one here. Can't tell what this is by just feeling it. Super Nintendo? Really trying to be as careful as possible with the knife. I know I'm probably freaking some people out. Oh, nice. All right, so Yoshi's Island. Uh, one of the main line of Mario games that I didn't have yet. The other one I didn't have yet is in here somewhere. Uh, but super excited to have this. I did play this. Baby Mario is super annoying, but I needed it in the collection. Uh, excited to play it again. Uh, it's a really solid game. I am so sweaty already, man. Jeez. Okay, next one also feels like Switch. What the? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I uh, heard mixed things about this, but I've been on a huge Pokemon kick lately. Didn't really like sh uh, Sword and Shield. Uh, took me... A little while to get into those, and I, I really haven't gone back and played them. So I wanted to try a new one. So I picked this up. I think it was around the $30 range. Uh, excited to play that one. All right, this case is a little bit bigger. Feels like it could be PS2. Oh, no. Okay. Cool. I forgot about this one. Uh, Mario Party 10. Um, complete? I thought it was complete. Is that complete? Did this ever come with a manual? I have no idea. I think I researched and realized that it didn't come with a manual. Um, so yeah, Mario Party 10. The Mario Party games are really expensive, so uh, I'm slowly working on getting those. I think I only have like this and, and nine. No idea, but uh, <laughs> I'm working on them and uh, excited to have this one. Mario Party's a lot of fun. Next, we have Nintendo, I think. 
Okay, so... Silver Surfer on the NES, uh, known for being one of the most difficult games on the system, and pretty much of all time. Just uh, really wanted it, really wanted to play it and see how hard it actually is. I think I played it a while ago. Uh, I don't remember, or I just saw that classic AVGN video. But um, it's an essential game to have if you collect NES, so happy to have that one. There are still so many, so many. Barely made a dent. Okay, this one feels like N64, because it's a little heavy. It is. Oh, well, didn't know that. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, Super Smash Brothers, uh, the original one. I didn't realize that uh, the top was written in Magic Marker, Super Smash Brothers. Um, I can get that off really easily, though. Uh, label's in pretty good shape. Obviously a classic game. Holds up okay. I mean, I, I've seen gameplay lately, and uh, it's it's aged. It's, a, it's an old game, but uh, Mario's in it, and I need it in my collection. This also feels like Nintendo 64. I've been really working on my N64 collection because I've been really enjoying playing it, but I really don't have that many games for it. This one, I believe, is just like a really cheap one that I picked up. Uh, I think it was like five bucks or something like that, plus a few dollars shipping. Uh, that is Jet Force Gemini. Uh, actually, a really fun game. I played this back in the day. Um, for some reason, it's one of the cheaper titles to get your hands on because most N64 games are very expensive now, but happy to have that one. All right, next one, NES. Cool, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. Not a good game. Uh, some people would argue that. Most people know that it's a cryptic disaster with those crazy text scrolling screens and things like that, but I still love it because I love Castlevania. I realized I only had the first one on NES, so I went ahead and picked this one up. Next one, this feels like Super Nintendo N64. All right, this is one that I could not believe I didn't own. Um, another one with a uh, some kind of writing. Oops, bumped the mic. Some kind of writing on the top. That's just a sticker, though. That'll come right off. Okay. Uh, but Mario Kart 64, I can't believe I didn't have this. Probably my most played Mario Kart. Um, been playing it forever. Never gets old. So super excited to have that in the collection. This is a tiny. This one's tiny. Okay. Well, oh, great. Another one of my favorite NES games that I didn't have, Bionic Commando. Really cool platforming game. Uh, you, there's no jump feature, so you use this little um, arm, bionic arm, that you can kind of cling on to things and claw on like a grappling hook uh, kind of deal. Really cool. Uh, a lot of fun. Capcom. Uh, if you haven't played it, check it out. But I think this might be in my next video, too probably about halfway there. Uh, this one's kind of a bigger one. It's like a box in here. It's just, yep, yeah, very, very overpacked here. We got this external Amazon envelope with another envelope. Okay, sweet. I have Aladdin on the Genesis. Very lacking on Genesis games in the collection. This is a really good one, one I, I played back in the day. Um, just excited to have it. Again, another cheaper game. I probably paid like $8 for this or something, plus some shipping. So uh, really excited to be expanding my Genesis collection finally. This one feels empty, but there's got to be something in here, right? Ah, uh, yes, more bubble wrap. All right, so this one's brand new. It's a limited run game. It's uh, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time. I'm a huge fan of Samurai Jack. I love his game on the PS2. Uh, that one I played endlessly growing up. I do have that in the collection, but I saw that this came out a couple years ago, or maybe a year ago. Uh, yeah, 2020, uh, and I didn't even know about it until I saw it online, uh, and just really wanted to get my hands on it. There aren't that many Samurai Jack games, although there should be, because it's kind of the perfect kind of franchise to make games for, but uh, really excited to own this, really excited to play it. I think I got this for like 40 bucks. Uh, limited run stuff, you know, uh, never goes down in price, really, so. Really, really excited for that one. So much trash. All right, next little pouch here. Feels like N64, exciting. Sweet, so I got Castlevania on N64. Uh, no, not to be the best Castlevania, but uh, I think it was a, a really good deal I got on this. And uh, I love Castlevania and I want all of them, maybe not as serious as Mario. Uh, but I do plan on getting most of the Castlevania games. I really do enjoy them. It's a really nice addition. Okay, another one here feels like PS2. 
Let's see. No, it was deceiving. It's cardboard. What the? Oh, yeah, cool. So, here we have Pokemon Silver. It seems to be legit. I hope it is. It looks like it is. Kind of hard to tell because it's in really good shape. Uh, but I got that. It comes with the original manual, uh, which seems to be original. Um, I'll do a little B-roll on this and close up. You see that it's fake. Well, oh well, I think I paid like 35 bucks for it. These probably go for like 50, 60. Uh, so really cool to have. I hope it's real. I've been trying to get all of the Game Boy uh, Pokemon games. See behind me. There, I have red, uh, yellow, and blue. So, got this. And then uh, I think I have gold, but it's just taking forever to show up. So, I didn't want to wait for that to get here to make this video. Okay, so I keep saying things feel like PS2, and none of them have been PS2 games yet. This one feels like PS2, and I hope it is PS2, because I love PS2 games. Yeah, finally, I was right. Cool. So, we have Tony Hawk's Underground 2. So I played the first one a couple times, beat it all the way through, uh, just loved Underground 1, and I really loved American Wasteland. The PS2 Tony Hawk games are some of my favorites, so uh, a kind of sub-collection goal of mine is to get all of them. I'm sure this one, if, if it's anything like the first game, is probably awesome, so super excited to have that in a collection. <laughs> okay, so we have another one here. Also feels like PS2, gotta stop saying that. Uh, handle with care, do not bend. Nope, not PS2. Nope, never is. I don't even know if I, how many PS2 games I ordered. I get maybe two, maybe one more than that. I don't know. Sweet. So I have the final game in the. Ooh, sorry. That's probably really annoying. I have the final game in the mainline Mario, right here. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, so excited to have this. Galaxy 1's a lot of fun. I haven't played a lot of Galaxy 1, and I've never really played 2. So really excited to have this. I do plan on getting into those. I've heard such amazing things about both of them. So this is complete. Manual's in pretty decent shape here. Um, but there you have it. I have all the mainline Mario games now. It's a really cool accomplishment. That's, that's awesome. So we're down to one of the last little floppy packages here. And then we move on to some of the smaller boxes and then the bigger boxes. This one's like vacuum sealed. What the heck? Oh, cool. Mm. Oh, I can read it, but I can't get it out. Ew, it's like sticky. Ugh. We have Super Mario, uh, oh, excuse me, Paper Mario and the Origami King. I've heard mixed things about this. I am not huge into the Paper Mario ones. Uh, I really wanted to try RPG because that was kind of the first of that style. Um, and I've heard mixed things about this. I heard it wasn't that amazing. Uh, but I think I managed to score this for like 20 bucks or something like that. So really good addition to the uh, Mario collection, definitely. So now on to some of the small boxes here. Sounds like some kind of disc game. Holy tape, dude. So much tape. Oh, cool. All right. So this is a PS2 game I loved playing growing up. Um, a lot of people don't know about this one. Let me get it open before I start talking about it. So, we have Red Dead Revolver. So this is the first Red Dead game. A lot of people, I think, don't know about this. Um, I haven't heard many people talk about it, but I played this way back in the day when I was way too young to be playing uh, rated M games, and it's awesome. If you like the other Red Dead games, this is where it all started. Uh, really cool game. Don't think I paid that much money for it. It is complete. The manual is nice. This looks brand new. This thing is mint. Oops. So super excited to add this to the collection, a game I'll definitely be playing. I actually played this and I'd never played the other Red Dead games. I know that's like a sin uh, in the gaming community because those games are so highly regarded. And I love Rockstar, I just never really got around to uh, Red Dead uh, 2 and things like that. So Red Dead Redemption and things like that. But uh, Red Dead, Revolver, tons of fun. I remember being pretty difficult, but I was like a stupid little six year old kid or whatever. So uh, really excited to get into that for real. All right, on to another bigger one here. Okay, a box and a bag. Tissue paper. Receipt. And two tissue paper wrapped games here. I don't like the feeling of tissue paper. It makes my teeth hurt. This is another essential uh, N64 game. I did not have a game I played a lot when I was young. Goldeneye, obviously one of the best multiplayer, you know, couch co-op games ever. Um, or, you know, couch multiplayer. 
uh, ever. It's so much fun. Everyone's begging for a remaster of this. I believe it was just the 25th anniversary. So that's really cool. Uh, definitely one I needed in the collection. Definitely one I will be playing a lot of. Also, uh, I have The World Is Not Enough, which I haven't heard as much about as Goldeneye. Obviously, I've never played this one. Um, it's probably pretty decent. I mean, it's made by EA though, so we'll see. Um, but the main reason I went for these two games is obviously to get Goldeneye in the collection. More boxes! Feels like NES. People are really crazy with uh, their packaging. This is very excessive. Most of these were packed. Like, dude, it's a plastic game. It's not like a fine crystal bowl. Awesome. I am so pumped to have this game. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, in really nice shape. Uh, really excited to have this. It is incredibly difficult. I remember playing it, and I think I got to, like, the third level before I just gave up, because it's a punishing game. Uh, but really happy to have that. Now, I have all three of the Castlevanias on the NES. Uh, kind of an essential um, trio to have for the NES. So, last couple small boxes here. Oh, yeah, baby. Being very careful with this one because I am very happy to have it. And it's in very, very nice shape. All right, so here we have the original Super Mario Brothers 3 complete in box on the NES. Uh, almost perfect conditions, a little crease there. A uh, couple little marks on the back here. No, I've said in previous videos that I do not collect uh, cardboard boxes. Uh, no games in cardboard boxes, but this is an exception. Uh, I have these like special plastic cases for Mario 1 and 2, but Mario 3, I don't have one of those cases, so it kind of looks a little incomplete. And it's my favorite game of all time. So if I'm going to have any game complete in box, this is it. Goes for like 100 or $200 now. Uh, I don't know. The prices of things in boxes are insane, uh, especially when you go back to like NES, Super Nintendo, and things like that. That's why I just collect carts. But uh, this, I think I got for 65, 70, something like that. So it was a good deal and it's actually in really good shape. Let me get it opened up here. We have the game, which is in perfect condition. Mine is a little discolored, the one I have now. And the manual, which is a really fun manual to look at. And it's even got the little styrofoam on the bottom. So I'm so happy that I have this. Uh, my favorite game ever. You know, I gotta have the complete uh, version of it. Okay, so last small box here. Again, excessive packaging. Super Bomberman R. I know it was a launch title for the Switch. I like Bomberman. Heard mixed things about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people think that it uh, should have not been a launch title for the Switch. Um, but I like Bomberman and it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm excited to add this to the collection. Now we're on to the first big box here. So this I got a pretty good deal on. Um, something I've, I've needed in the collection for a long time. I guess I didn't need it, but you know what I mean. Really nicely packaged here. Here it is. Super Nintendo, complete in box. Uh, the box is in pretty good shape. I was really searching for one that wasn't completely beat up. Uh, you know, it's got some creases in it here and there, uh, but it's awesome. It has this awesome sticker on the back of the purchase date, 3894. Uh, so this is great. My goal is to get all of the Nintendo consoles complete in box. I actually didn't have a Super Nintendo on its own. I have that uh, Retroid 2 uh, or whatever, which is awesome because you could play an HDMI and everything, but I really like the original hardware. Super happy to have this. Uh, it's very much complete uh, from what the picture showed. Gotta get this thing open, but uh, really, really excited to have this. Can't wait to throw it up on the shelf, but awesome. I think I only paid 115 for this. Now we're on to this last big box. This box is kind of crushed. I hope that the thing that's in here is in decent shape. A lot of bubble wrap. Oh man, this thing's heavy. So here we have a PlayStation 3, uh, the 80 gigabyte, the first model, actually not the first model. It is not the backwards compatible one, but it is very much complete. The description said it wasn't played very long and it's on like one of the first updates. Uh, hasn't been updated. Um, so I don't know if I will or won't. Um, I, Got to look a little bit into that and see uh, if it's a good thing to update these old systems. But I'm really excited to have it. I believe there's two controllers in here. No games included, but I really am excited to build a PS3 collection. PS3 was like the second or third console I ever had. And of so many great games, so many great memories. Uh, so really look forward to a video on the PS3. 
uh, and a lot of PS3 games added to my collection. So excited to have this. So excited to dig into some of my favorite games of all time, which came out on this system here. All right, so there you have it. Over $1,000 worth of stuff from eBay. I went way too hard. I shouldn't have spent that much money, but I'm glad I did because I have some really great stuff and I got some really great deals on this. I hear a lot of people saying how eBay's overpriced and things like that, but if you keep your eyes on it, what I do is I go uh, ending soonest uh, on auction are my two filters. So uh, way too many times I go on there and go like, oh wow, that's ending in five minutes and no one's bid on it. And it's like $10, $15, $100 cheaper than what it normally goes for, like with these consoles here. Uh, usually complete in box, Super Nintendo is at least 200 bucks. Uh, this I think was like 100 bucks. Uh, I know the PS3 is kind of in that weird in-between phase right now, but I am super excited to get this stuff and I did get a pretty good deal on it. If you go to any retro game stores, these things are a lot more money than what I paid for them on eBay. If you just keep your eyes on stuff, uh, it is a good resource. And one of the only places you can really get uh, old games and, and consoles and things like that. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like. Uh, if you like me and like the content I'm making here, just subscribe. Uh, got a video coming out every Tuesday. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.